Hello, Dieguito. Hello, I like the um my no. neck. Ah, no. thank you. Thank you very much. It's a necklace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just arrived from work and I just came here running. <laughs> How are you? Hey, my, my god, another weekend, people. My god. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Mr. Jorge. How are you? How are you today? Mm, good. <laughs> I like the <laughs> Very. It's like que le puedo decir <laughs> Con eso lo dijo todo. <laughs> yeah, it is totally understandable. Creo que sí. I can recall. Me puedo identificar. <laughs> there is like, how are you? <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> si le dije, si le contara. Well, welcome, good evening. I hope you Mucho have. Ah, yeah. Oh my God. I think it's a combination of everything. It's the job, the traffic, the weather, the everything. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of everything. Ya los entra. Mr. Luis, how are you? Wendita, hello, Janita, how are you? Hello, teacher, hello, teacher Evelyn. How are you? How are you? <laughs> teacher Evelyn. <laughs> ah, because I call you Janita. <laughs> you are evil, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, la buena o la mala. Tira. La venganza, yeah. Y la disfruta, look at her, huh? Isabel, Isabel, I am sorry. Yeah, and I don't like Evelyn, you know. Cinco mil líneas por decirme Janira siempre. Cinco mil, cinco mil, yeah, I know. No, I, I will try it, I will try it. It, it, is, it is totally understandable. I, I don't like Evelyn, but I don't know Evelyn. I consider it very serious, a person that it's very serious, like, hmm. Yeah, I always say that Evelyn is the one that makes the exams. Teacher Evelyn is the one that makes the Teacher Nati is the one that teaches the classes. So it's like, yeah, she's the good one. And I had a, I had a teacher at the university that was the same, Evelyn. Y le decían, evil in. Que tenía el diablo por dentro. And I was like, no, it's, that's not from God. I said. So that's why Isabel, Isabel Fuentes. Sí. Hey, how are you feeling from your from your throat? ¿Qué tal siguió? Ya mejor. Al okay. rato ya estamos ahí del todo bien bien. Okay. On the one hundred, they say. Okay, good. Very good. So I hope everybody had a very good weekend. What were the major activities of your weekend? ¿Cuáles fueron sus, sus ma, las actividades con más realce en su fin de semana? What did you do? What was like the top three of importance? Can... Lavar. Cleaning. Okay. okay, cleaning, organizing the house. Uh, washing the clothes. What else? Sleep. Sleep. Okay. So you say sleeping, cleaning, washing. Those are the top three of Diego. What about the rest? What is the top three of your weekend? Bueno, yo me fui a nadar. Okay, swimming. Good. Y what else? También fui a un cumpleaños. Okay, swimming, so celebrating a birthday. What else? And rest. Okay, very good. So those were the top three of Isa. What about the rest? What were your top three? I went to the beach. <gasps> yeah, the rich one, always humiliating the poor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's so nice that you went to the beach. Which beach did you go to? Um, which, which one? El Tunco, Mahawal, Costa del Sol. Which one? San Diego. Oh, San Diego is beautiful. 
Yeah. <laughs> nice, very nice. La envidia ha entrado a tu. <laughs> what what do you do on your weekend? I went to the beach. Yeah. Nice. I went to work. <laughs> I went to work on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Ya vi un montón de cipotillo vaya. Con clases. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Wendy, what did you do on the weekend? What was your top three? Um, cook. I, wash. Okay, cooking, washing. And go shopping. Hey, and go shopping, nice. Where did you go shopping? Donde fuiste de compras? Where uh, did you go shopping? Uh -huh. A supermarket. Oh, to the supermarket, yes. That is very relaxing. I like to go to the supermarket. Even when I just need one thing, aunque necesite una sola cosa. I go through all the different holes just to observe and do nothing. That was so cool. Okay, so you went to the supermarket, you washed and you cleaned. Okay, good, very good. And let me see. Let me see, okay. On the previous class, on the previous class, we were talking about what? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando? Uh -huh. On the previous class. De la fecha, del calendario. Uh -huh. What else? Process. Okay, the different events in calendar, important. Uh, Appointments, appointments, uh -huh. and we were talking about uh, the different months of the year, the ordinal numbers, right? We were talking about all these things. So welcome, Mr. Ronald, Karencita, who were the last ones to connect today, and to all the ones that are connecting right now. So we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Present continuous, right? We are going to talk about that today. And it is a very nice topic because it has different information, right? That you can use in a continuous form. When do you use the present continuous? When you talk about activities that are happening on that short moment, right? And you use the form of ING. Right. The present continuous is one of these friendly topics that we have in English because it is very easy to use. It is very easy to follow. And you only use ing and the verb to be. And in that case, you say, but how do you use that one? How do you use the, the verb to be and the ing forms to talk about activities that are happening on the moment? Right. For example, right now, what is the teacher doing? The teacher is talking you say the teacher is talking the teacher is teaching the teacher is using the computer right those are activities with the ing form okay so we are going to be discussing that one today right let's just remember a little bit about our agreements remember to practice your english as much as possible right? To ask for help when you need, to keep your cameras on all the time, to keep the microphones off if you are not using it, to attend your sessions on time, to participate as much as possible, and for sure, to keep a cooperative attitude during the class, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, and work on the platform every day. How is your advance on the platform, people? ¿Qué tal va su avance en la plataforma? Are so you cool. uh, so so? <laughs> it was like so so. Very, that was good. very good, very good. Okay, so are you in unit three already? Ya llegaron a la unidad tres. Ya terminaron la unidad tres. Yes. Okay, good. So you are about to finish, right? You are about to finish because you only have unit number four missing, okay? So we're going to start our day today because 
uh, I want you to participate. Here we have 10 different questions that we're going to use to start our day. And they are about abilities, right? The questions are about abilities. And the first question say, what can you do that most people can't do? What is something that you can do that most people can't do? What will be the form of this question in Spanish? ¿Cuál sería la forma de la primera pregunta en español? What will be the meaning of this? What is something that you can do that most people can do. ¿Qué puedes hacer tú que las demás personas no pueden? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué puedes hacer tú que la mayoría no puede? And you can say, no, teacher, I am very normal. No, teacher, I don't have abilities. We all have abilities. Todos tenemos habilidades. And in some cases, you say, hey, I can do this and my family <laughs> cannot do it. And it's not to be like egocentric or something of self-centered. But imagine that in your family, you are the only one learning English. What is something that you can do in your family that they cannot do? Speak English. That is one. What is something that you can do that most people can't do? No sé, alguien que pueda doblar una oreja o no sé, algo. <laughs> or something. Ah, really? <laughs> Wow, that's an ability, definitely. I, for example, can do many things at the same time and still be concentrated. I can do like five different things at the same time and still be concentrated on the five. And many people cannot do that. Many people can do only one thing at the same time. Mucha gente solo puede hacer una cosa a la vez. Yo puedo hacer hasta cinco o seis al mismo tiempo. And you are like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? I can be checking this, doing that, reading this, listening to you, blah, blah. And I can be doing the six things. I am multi multitasking. What about you? What is something that makes you special? ¿Qué los hace a ustedes especiales? Algo que usted diga, hey, yo puedo hacer esto. And most people cannot do it. No Think normal. about it. No, 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 no. Okay. Think about your abilities. What is something that you can do that many people cannot do? Use a specific machine, uh, use a specific thing on the work. What is something that you do at your work that not everybody cannot, can do? Algo que ustedes hagan en su trabajo que no todos lo puedan hacer en el, en el, en el lugar de trabajo. Huh? Think about. Yo del, del trabajo no, pero o sea, piche conoce las camas que le que tienen junco, las camas de junco, madera. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Ah, yo puedo hacer eso. Really? Yo wow. puedo enjuncar las camas. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> so my respect because that's something that I cannot do. Wow. Nice. But, but do you sell them? Si tienes algún negocio de eso, no? No, no, de hecho lo aprendí. Eh, cuando salí de vacaciones, estaba estudiando, aprendí con un tío mío, me enseñó. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, excellent. You see, that's an ability, something special that you can do that not many people can do. Okay. Pueden haber muchos que puedan hacer eso, pero de aquí, de, esta, de este grupo, ¿cuántos podemos? I cannot do it. So my respect for that because it is something that I cannot do. Uh, Catherine, uh -huh. Yo también puedo, teacher. Oh, so you see, only imagine only two people, two people of nineteen. That that's really admirable. Very nice. Nice. Anyone else who has an ability, an special ability, or any special machine that you can manage? For example, if you sit me on your work table, I cannot do what you do. Si me sientan en su mesa de su trabajo y me dicen, haga lo que yo hago. Sorry. Tal vez lo aprendería después de una 
10 clases. But in the first day, oops, <laughs> le vamos a cobrar esas mil camisas. <laughs> No Pero te puede hacer algo que no podemos hacer nosotros, hablar perfectamente el inglés. No, you see. <laughs> but you are on the process of this, but that's nice, right? That because you, I am helping you to do what I can do, and that's so nice. Anyone who has an special ability, well, who can drive a car? Who can drive a car? Raise your hand if you can drive a car. Can you yes, drive please. a car, Maneja? Estoy en proceso, yo estoy en proceso. Okay, you are in the process, but I don't know. Okay, I am always in the process, right? Yo estoy en el proceso por siempre, right? And I never finish. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, I will finish. Okay, in automatic, yes, I just go like, yeah, that's it, right? But standard, I cannot drive standard. I mean, I'm standard, me muero, me muero. Que me lleven los aliens. <laughs> so you see it looks easy it looks easy but i cannot do it i think my connection between hand brain and everything i can wave casts nets what is that jorge okay. oh wow so you can make them and you can use it wow Another thing that I cannot do, right? En mi vida llevo dos cosas que tengo que aprender a hacer porque no puedo. Okay? No puedo encontrar muebles y no puedo hacer atarrayas ni tirar atarrayas. So I have to learn those things. We never know. Cuando nos vamos a hacer marimar y nos vamos a ir a vivir a una isla. We never know. <laughs> Christian, any special ability that you have? No, no sé, teacher, nada. <laughs> Ay, come on. ¿Algún programa específico? ¿Algún programa de computadoras que puedas manejar o algo así? No sé. Algo chévere que puedas hacer. Think about it. Ronald. Pues yo no sé si cuenta como habilidad, pero puedo hacer origami, digamos. Oh, that's so fantastic. It takes a lot of detail. Wow. Entonces, Gracias. eso dice que Ronald es un hombre muy detallista. Deja rosas así. Oh, with, Rosa. the, with, the, with the folded paper. Ajá. Sí. Ah, Qué... pues, sí. Puede ser una rana, una cesta, eh, cositas así otras, más sencillas. Wow. You see, ¿qué sí. más puede ser ahora mismo? Ajá. Lo que estaba intentando y en lo que me quedé hacer un cisne de 300 piezas. Pero... Oh my God. I have seen those. Yo los he visto. Lo vi en una fiesta. Qué cosa más hermosa. It's very beautiful. <laughs> wow. You see, those are special abilities that I need in my life. Ajá, uh -huh, Cristian. Vuelvo a usted. Ah, yo pensé que ya lo había olvidado. <laughs> no, no. Ay, Dios. A mí. <laughs> no. <laughs> algo especial, no sé alguna mane alguna maquinaria que puedas manejar no, nada y... <laughs> vamos a poner a Christian a la par mía que aprenda todo lo de aquí Norman, something special that you can do no, quizás ninguna <laughs> no, como en... esa va a ser su tarea de ahora a mañana descubrir cuál es esa habilidad que usted tiene que los demás no tienen hay gente que puede hacer trenza. Yo puedo hacer, bueno, puedo hacer peinado, puedo maquillar, puedo hacer bisutería. Okay. Business. ¿Ah? Business. Yeah, I have a business on that. <laughs> yeah. And let me see. I can, I can speak English. I can speak a little bit of French. I can cook. I can make pupusas. Or those are abilities that you need in your life. <laughs> so... You see, think about that. I am going to give you that homework. Piensen en cuál es esa habilidad que los hace especiales. Hay gente que puede hacer trenza, yo no puedo. Y le haces como... And that's it, right? And I was like... Wow. Okay, gente que puede andar en moto, yo no puedo. Gente que puede andar en bici, yo no puedo. <laughs> so those are special abilities. Let's see. Another question that this is a little bit more general, right? What can you do to make yourself happy? 
What can you do to make yourself happy? Something that I do to make myself happy is to play music in very loud volume. And I love it, right? Pongo la música a todo volume. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel very happy. What make what makes you feel happy? No sería buena vecina entonces, teacher. Uh -uh. La vecina uh -huh. tóxica. Depende de la música que escuche. A ver, le hace. Depending, toda... depending, right? Depending on the mood. No, but, I, but it's funny that I don't do it very often. Tengo tan poco tiempo libre que es como. I don't do it. But it makes me happy. It makes me happy. So, what makes you happy? ¿Qué es algo que ustedes hagan que dicen, no, ahí sí me siento, pero el rey y la reina del mundo? Me encanta eso. I play soccer. Okay, when I play soccer, good, very good. When you play I soccer, you feel happy. Play your video games. Okay, play video games. That makes you feel very happy. What else makes you feel happy? En caso es escuchar música de rock o baladas mientras conduzco la moto hacia mi hacia el lugar de donde vive mi familia. Ah, so that makes you feel happy to listen to music when you are on your motorcycle driving. That's so great. That makes you feel happy, you see? What else? What makes Ronald feel happy? I play video. When I play video. What makes Good Christian feel happy? <laughs> huh? He hace sentir feliz a Christian. <laughs> Every 15 of the month. <laughs> Two days from now, en tres días, teacher, me voy a sentir feliz. <laughs> what makes you feel happy? ¿Qué te hace sentir feliz? A ver. Pues, escuchar música. Okay. Escribir. Oh, that's so nice. Escribir. That's very good. Wendy, ¿qué hace sentir feliz a Wendy? Um... I eat. <laughs> when I eat, yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Even when you when you eat something delicious, Carlita, what makes you feel happy? Go for a walk with my, with my son. To go for a and walk. Hey, go for a walk with your son. I think that makes everybody feel happy. That's beautiful. Walter, what makes you feel happy? Um, Escuchar música, ver Listen, televisión. Listening music, watch TV, good. Mm. What else? Conocer lugares, no places. To get to know places, very good. So, so, sí. And let's see, Victor Manuel, what makes you feel happy? Victor Manuel, no te veo. Looking at all your beautiful faces makes me feel happy. <laughs> I love when, when you smile. That's so nice. What kind of food can you cook? What kind of food can you cook? Uh huh. What kind of food can you cook? Our beaver. Chicken. Chicken. Yes. Hey, okay, okay. Chicken, chicken. Good, very good. Boy, what are you saying? Oh, but even you have to know how to cook it, right? Si no sabe cómo hacerlo, masa, right? So you have to know how to cook it, the time and everything. So, but if you can cook maruchan, you survive. Let's see. Let me see. No, okay. What can you remember about your last English class? You told me that one. At what age can people drive in your country? At what age can people drive in your country? At what age? Uh, 18. 18 years old. Very good. When you are 18 years old. And when you get a license, right? Please, people, get a license. Don't drive just like with the permission of God. Okay, get a license. Yeah. 
Algunos desde los 13 años ya pueden. Yeah, there is one. There is one that it's called, uh, it was a, like a juvenile, a juvenile license that it's from the 15 to the 18. Creo que de los 15 a los 18 cubre esa licencia juvenil. And then on the 18th, you can get the, you can get the, the adult one. Okay, so that's, that was like the introduction of our day to make you speak a little bit in some cases. I need you please to get your notebook. Now I need to see your notebook. Necesito que su cuaderno y su lápiz. You are going to use it. I need you to get your pen, your pencil, and your notebook. I need you to have it ready. And we are going to do an activity on which you need it. Okay. I am going to uh, silent everybody because I need you to listen to an audio. I am going to play an audio for you and I need you to take notes. Take notes about the audio, okay? I need you to write what you understand and what you remember from the audio. I am going to play the audio two or three times, okay? And I need you to take notes. Anoten Todo lo, la información posible. Okay, I need you to take notes, all the different notes that you can do in these uh, times that I am going to play the audio. Okay, so please listen and take notes about the most important things that you remember. I am going to play it three times. Lo voy a poner dos o tres veces para que ustedes puedan tomar todas las notas posibles de la información. Es un montón de información. So please take notes about this. Okay, let me know if you can listen to the audio. Me avisan si pueden escuchar el audio. For most people, a job means they get up at seven. Yeah, can you listen? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Very good. So listen, please, and take notes. Tomen todas las notas posibles, and I will keep you silent for you to listen carefully. For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Later, they have lunch at noon, and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Finally, they finish work at about 5 p.m., and then go home, and have dinner with their family. That kind of job is okay for most people, but my job is special, and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work, I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. It's not surprising then, that my best friend lives in Japan, and we stay in touch by Facebook and email. When I'm in Tokyo, he always invites me to have dinner with him and his family. In fact, my favorite food is sushi. Another good friend of mine, Gustavo, lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I love to watch football games together when I visit. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones, I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 o'clock p.m. That kind of schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York, and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. However, I think I have an exciting job. And my kids think it's great that I can say, hello, in 18 different languages. Ni hao. Anyang haseyo. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. For most people, a job means... Okay, listen again. How many sentences did you hear? ¿Cuántas oraciones copiaron? <laughs> Any, come on. Oh, you have oh. two more opportunities. You have four. Okay. It tiene como 40 oraciones en el audio. So please listen again and take notes. Esta es la segunda vez. Todavía nos falta una más. Go ahead. No sé si cuentan como oración. Even if you take notes, aún si tomas notas, así como my job is like this, my favorite thing is this, I do this. So that's important, right? Take notes. Take information. <laughs> Konichi one. Uh -huh, but I, I need the previous information from that one. But we're listen again. Listen, okay. For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. 
Later, they have lunch at noon, and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Finally, they finish work at about 5 p.m., and then go home, and have dinner with their family. That kind of job is okay for most people, but my job is special, and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work, I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. It's not surprising then, that my best friend lives in Japan, and we stay in touch by Facebook and email. When I'm in Tokyo, he always invites me to have dinner with him and his family. In fact, my favorite food is sushi. Another good friend of mine, Gustavo, lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I love to watch football games together when I visit. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones, I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 o'clock p.m. That kind of schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York, and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. However, I think I have an exciting job. And my kids think it's great that I can say, hello, in 18 different languages. Ni hao. Anyang haseyo. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. For most people, a job means... Okay, that was the second time. Let's go to listen to the last time. Lo voy a poner la última vez. Okay, go ahead. This is Francis. Bonjour. <laughs> no, bonjour. Konnichiwa. Yeah, because he said he can say hello in many different languages. Ustedes me van a decir en cuantos. Pay attention. For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Later, they have lunch at noon, and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Finally, they finish work at about 5 p.m., and then go home, and have dinner with their family. That kind of job is okay for most people, but my job is special, and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work, I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. It's not surprising then, that my best friend lives in Japan, and we stay in touch by Facebook and email. When I'm in Tokyo, he always invites me to have dinner with him and his family. In fact, my favorite food is sushi. Another good friend of mine, Gustavo, lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I, love to watch football games together when I visit. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones, I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 o'clock p.m. That kind of schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York, and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. However, I think I have an exciting job. And my kids think it's great that I can say, hello, in 18 different languages. Ni hao. Anyang haseyo. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Okay, so right now, I am going to have you working together and you are going to share with your groups. What did you get? You are going to share with your friends the information that you got, okay? You are going to say, well, I remember this and this and this, okay? When you go to your groups, you are going to share what you wrote. Van a compartir con su grupo de trabajo que fue lo que eh, agarraron de la lectura. And you are going to see. When we come back, you are going to read the reading, okay? I am going to set the reading for you and you are going to read it, okay? But right now, share with your friends. Compartanle sus compañeros. ¿Qué fue lo que anotaron? Vamos a ver si coinciden. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go to the groups, please. 
There you go. Go to the different groups. Go to the groups, please. Lo hubiera grabado. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> go to the groups, please. Accept my invitations, please. Go ahead. Hola, Victor. Le llegó la invitación. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. For most people, okay. Let's see how they are doing. Okay, let's check what they are doing in their groups. Just meet seven A. Seven A dieciocho. Pero no sé si es fecha porque me parece como que era más fecha. Yo no es más fecha. El calendario, qué que horario de, de... Porque después Entonces, dice que el horario de almuerzo era la 1 p.m. Ah, que finalizaba y que luego iba a ser una familia. Ajá, y sí. Y realmente no era una... Yo entendí, dijo que tenía un amigo en Risidia. Risidia creo que dijera. Y en Brasilia. Brasilia. En El Salvador también. Brasilia, vi que diría. <risa> No, ya chambre, ya. <risa> Hablaba de, de la familia que, que la tenía. Que nada con la familia. No. I, love, I love this part of the exercise. Esta es mi parte favorita del ejercicio. Because I discover many new things. Descubro un montón de cosas que ni sabía del perro. <risa> Then he had friends in El Salvador. I said, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it is very curious, right? No, no saben de lo que me fui a enterar en el otro grupo. Cuente, <laughs> cuente. That they say like, que, que, que comía al, al Seventeen. Dice que no sabía que si era fecha ahora o qué. Dimos ahí. Like, Ok, ya. Yeah. Yo, no, yo no capté ninguna hora, la verdad. Mi compañero sí captaron horas, yo no. 
La verdad es que no. Ok, ya, ya la, cuando vuelvan y lo lean, ya ahí se van a decir, ah, that's the mean. <laughs> you will see. Yeah, you are going to come back. Ok, continue, continue sharing. Okay, sigan compartiendo lo que tengan, las notas que tengan, because I am missing a couple of groups. Me faltan dos grupos todavía. Pero una pregunta, teacher. Ajá. Y esto que estamos compartiendo, ¿cómo lo vamos a... O solo por compartirlo aquí entre No, no, nosotros. right now you are just sharing, right? Mira, yo anoté esto, vos anotaste esto, eso no lo tengo yo. So that's the sharing right now, okay? Just to see what things did you get, okay? Este es el momento para que me, me dé cuenta si de verdad anotaron algo o solo estaban ahí viéndome como... <laughs> aquí estoy coexistiendo, teacher. Okay. Okay, good. So, good. good. Aunque no sea, aunque sea, aunque no sea perfecta. Yeah, I, dice, even, even, está, yeah, tipo. the idea is that how much can you grasp from an audio? ¿Cuánto pueden agarrar de un audio? Yo sé que este es un ejercicio muy avanzado, pero ¿cuánto se pueden retar ustedes a decir, hey, quiero entrenarme a ver cuánto puedo entender de un audio en inglés? Okay. Y ahí los invito yo a que se vayan a buscar otros audios en YouTube, en Spotify, en whatever other place, y empezar a entrenarse el oído así como que quiero ver qué dijo. Y después buscar la lectura de ese audio y comparar qué es lo que vamos a hacer cuando volvamos. Okay. So that's, that's the challenge. Okay. I will explain a little bit better later. Okay. Continue sharing and I will come back. Okay. I will come back in a moment. Okay. Okay. If, if, a la... A la una dices. Ajá. Luego de eso. Ajá. Bien. Ajá. Luego de eso, antes de las cinco, no notaste nada más. No, no, solo eso entendí que finally ah. five bien. Sí, sí, ya sé, ya sé que va, si sí, dice que, que su almuerzo es a la una y después dice que su comida favorita es el sushi. Pero eso lo menciona ah. después, ¿no? Ah, después. Pues, pues, ajá. Ah, Ahorita no. vamos, vamos como siguiendo una secuencia, vaya. Dice que el, el almuerzo a la una, pongámosle que termina de trabajar a las 5 p.m. Aunque antes de eso decía que jugaba, no sé qué, pero la hora que no la escuché. Okay, good. So you see, this exercise is very useful to see how much information can you get from an audio. Okay, la finalidad de este ejercicio ahorita es para que se den cuenta cuánto pueden captar de un audio. I know it's a very advanced exercise. Este es un ejercicio muy avanzado quizás para ustedes ahorita. Pero los invita a retarse ustedes y decir, hey, tengo que buscar audios en internet. Tengo que prepararme más. Tengo que entrenar más el oído. A, a menos 75. Ya, a menos it is no. Le he puesto las tres veces. No. We're going to listen. Lo vamos a escuchar unas dos veces más, pero ya con la lectura. Y de ahí se van a dar cuenta y van a decir, ah, eso dice. Ah, eso okay. significa. Okay, so, but that's the, the idea. The idea is to, to, to wake up that interest on you. Lo que quiero ahorita es despertarles este interés de, de hey, quiero ver, quiero practicar más audios. Okay. It's, it is a, a good thing. Like, yo siempre juego con sus mentes, así que don't worry. I, I always play with them. Yeah. No, but it's yeah. good. It's good. It's good. Imagínense los tratara como babitos de nivel 2. No, we're going to play the ABC. No. No, no, no. No. Está jugando con mi cabeza. But in the good way. In the good way, right? In the good way. So, hello, Dennis. Welcome. Hello, Dennis. Good evening. Dennis está en el limbo ahorita. ¿Qué está pasando? Dice. No llegando, dice. Ok, ok. Continue, continue. Don't worry. Ok. Después de las cinco que tenía que trabajar, alguien copió, captó algo del que hacía. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yo no. Dice, no dice. Yo menos. Ay, ah. <laughs> Dennis. Compañeros, me gustaría ayudar, pero no sé de qué trata. Ok, no, don't worry. We're going to come back in a moment, ok? Ya me lo llevo. Okay. A ratito. Living in Tokyo. 
Light or living in Tokyo? Light. Ah, no, es live. Porque es live es de vivo. De, de, de vivo. Live es de vivir. Te tengo como en tres diferentes lugares, Edwin. Hola. Welcome back. Esta cosa ti está poseída. No, está jugando con mi cabeza. No, no, people. I don't know what happened. It just stopped. And I was like, what? Concentrarme. No, no, no. No, no. lo va a lograr. <laughs> no, como de repente se me salió, ups, se me cerró la reunión. Me was like, what's going oh. on? I said. Yo he visto el mentalista. <laughs> I have started like that, okay. So, hello, hello, sorry for that. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this. No, no sé qué le pasó a esto. Solo se cerró de repente. ¿Por qué se trajo y me sacó de la sesión? It was for everybody. Yo creo que a todos nos sacó. Eso quiere decir que, todos que, todos a todos Eso quiere decir que necesitamos cinco minutos más. <laughs> we, need, ah. we need more time for the audio. Que nos ponga otra vez el audio. Sí, otra, otra, <laughs> otra, okay, otra, 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 we're going to see here. Go sí, back no, to... No, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> so, thank you very much for sharing. And thank you because most of you are connecting again. I am going to put on the on the WhatsApp group. Okay, conectémonos de nuevo porque no se puede todo. Everybody, it was for everybody. Everybody. Okay. 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 Good. 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 And okay, fourteen. Who's missing? Okay. We are back. Okay. So I am going to go back here to the audio and to everything. And I am going to share my screen again. Okay. Here I go. And here I go with this one, okay? Okay, okay. I have my screen sharing. It's very slow. <laughs> Okay, so this is the audio that we were that we were listening to. And you are going to have the opportunity to see the reading section. Okay, van a tener la oportunidad de ver la parte escrita. Okay. And you are going to have the chance to actually compare, right? You are going to compare both parts. Here you go. Check on this one. For most people. A job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Okay, this was the first sentence. Listen to the first sentence. Can you listen to that? ¿Lo pudieron escuchar? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. And it says, for most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. He is not talking about him. He is talking about for most people, right? Para la mayoría de gente. For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. So that is the first part. What is a normal job for normal people? And here you have the example, right? For most people, it means that. So that is the first part because his job is a special. It says, listen. For most people, 
A job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Okay. Is it clear now that you can see it? Ahora que lo pueden ver y escuchar, ¿lo entienden mejor? Yeah. <laughs> For sure, yeah. right? <laughs> it is a lot sí. better. That's why I say, por eso les digo repitiendo siempre, si van a cantar una canción, cántenla con la lyric. Cántela con la versión karaoke, cántela con la letra. So you don't invent new songs, okay? You don't invent new songs and you don't invent things. Let's go back here. Most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Later, they have lunch at noon and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Okay, so, so far, so, so far, so good. In this part, is he talking about him? ¿Está hablando él acerca de él en, esta, en este primer párrafo? Is he talking about him? No. Okay. No, no, he's no, not. No. He's Pone not. Exactly. He's not talking about him. Él no está hablando de él. He is giving an example of how people do it. Okay. He's giving an example of how normal people do their job, right? For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m., drive to work by 8 a.m. or 8.30 or 9 a.m. Later, they have lunch at noon and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Okay. He is describing a normal uh, a normal schedule from a normal person, but he is different because his job is a special. Continue listening. Finally, they finish work at about 5 p.m. and then go home and have dinner with their family. Okay. When I was on the groups, they say like, y él come a las cinco, y él tiene, y él cena a las cinco, y él sale a la una. He's not talking about him, right? He's not talking about himself. He is describing a normal routine of a normal person, right? For most people, they go to the job at seven, they have lunch and they finish work at five and then they go home and have dinner with their family, right? That's a normal person. And let's continue. That kind of job is okay for most people, but my job is special and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. Okay. That kind of job is okay for most people, he says. That kind of job is okay for most people. Here, that kind of job is okay for most people. But my job is special and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. ¿Quién anotó su profesión? ¿Quién sabía que él era un piloto? Okay. Raise your hand if you did it. Yo no sabía que era un piloto. <laughs> so, but he said like i am a com i am a commercial airline pilot right that's what he says let's continue here. <laughs> that means i don't drive to work i fly in fact i fly to many different destinations in the world and i have friends in many countries Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. Okay, so it says that his job is different, right? That kind of job is, it's different because it's a special and he loves it, right? He's a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work. El no maneja el trabajo. ¿Qué hace? I fly. That's another level of work, right? I, uh, I fly to my, I fly in the coaster to my job. <laughs> I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations. <clears throat> I fly to many different destinations in the world. I have friends in many countries. ¿Quién anotó que tenía amigos en muchos lugares? Puse los friends, puse, me parece. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Su mejor amigo lo entendí yo, lo tenía en Facebook. <laughs> you will see, you will see where does he have his, his best friend. I have to work, I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. Okay, let's continue here. 
He flies to many different countries, right? To North America and South, South America. I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. It's not surprising then that my best friend lives in Japan, and we stay in touch by Facebook and email. Aha. Uh -huh. Is his best friend on Facebook? Where is his best friend? My best friend lives in Japan. In Japan. And what do they use the Facebook for? Para qué usan el Facebook? Exactly. To stay in touch. We stay in touch by Facebook and email, he says. Right? It is not that his best friend is on Facebook. He stay in touch with his best friend through Facebook. Okay? That's different. It's very different. But that's that's what, what we are learning, right? Let's continue here. Let's continue listening. When I'm in Tokyo, he always invites me to have dinner with him and his family. In fact, my favorite food is sushi. Uh -huh. ¿Quién anotó su comida favorita? Raise your hand. Now, everybody, now. Sushi teacher, I wrote sushi. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my favorite food is sushi. Let's continue here. Another good friend of mine, Gustavo, lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I love to watch football games together when I visit. Okay. Por ahí en un grupo me dijeron que juega fútbol, que no sé qué. And I was like, ah, he doesn't play football. He watch football games when he visits him right he watched football football games with him right what is the name of his other friend gustavo, gustavo. Oh. and where does gustavo live brasilia. in brasilia right he lives in brasilia and what is brasilia the capital city of Brazil. Of Brazil, right? Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's continue here. Avo lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I love to watch football games together when I visit. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones, I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 o'clock p.m. That kind of schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York, and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. Okay. So he says that he flies through many different time zones, right? Está de repente aquí a las 7 de la mañana, a las 2, a la 1. He goes to bed at 2 a.m. And in other cases, at 2 p.m. And it says like that his schedule is not easy. Su horario no es sencillo. In addition, my job separates me from, from whom? <coughs> ¿De quién lo separa? Uh -huh, from his wife. From his wife and two children. Exactly. Where do they live? New York. They live in New York, right? They live in New York. And he is often many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. Who is them? A quien se refiere con este them? I miss them very much. Los extraño. A ellos quienes? Exactly, right? To his wife and children. Very good job. Very good job. However, I think I have an exciting job. And my kids think it's great that I can say hello in 18 different languages. I can say hello in how many languages? En cuantos idiomas? 18. 18. 18. 18 different language. 18 different languages, right? Ni hao. Anyang haseyo. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Okay. When you say ni hao, anion kashio, konishiwa, and bonjour, that's hello. 
in different countries, right? In many different languages, right? So that's the reading. Was this information similar to your information? Era la información que acabamos de leer similar a su información? No, no, no. Hemos aprendido de resumir una conversación. You, you, it's a kind of invented, right? But yeah, it is just like that. So that's the good thing, right? Y es ahí donde va mi insistencia. If you are going to listen something, read, okay? In YouTube, for example, there are many different readings. Hay muchas lecturas comprensivas que se van al mismo tiempo que usted la va leyendo, la van escuchando. And that's very helpful because you train your ear, okay? Because now, if I play the audio, you can recognize the words, okay? Ahora si ya lo van escuchando y lo van leyendo, es como, ah, I can get the idea and I can understand. But if you just listen like this, if you just listen like this, it's like, mm, what did he say? Okay, and it's a challenge as well. Se pueden retar de las dos maneras. Okay, se pueden retar a escuchar y tratar de comprender y después leer o leer al mismo tiempo que van escuchando. Así pueden empezar, leer y escuchar. Y ahí se van retando a subir de nivel. Because it helps a lot. Let's listen to the last time and we're going to read as well. Okay, traten de irlo leyendo al mismo tiempo. Okay, apaguen todos sus micrófonos. Turn off all your microphones, please. I'm going to turn them off. Okay, there we go. And try to read at the same time. Traten de ir a la par de él. Okay, mientras va, mientras van listening. Okay, while you listen, try to, uh, try to read. Okay, one, two, and three. For most people, a job means they get up at 7 a.m. and drive to work by 8.30 or 9 a.m. Later, Later, they have lunch at noon and then they start work again at 1 p.m. Finally, they finish work at about 5 p.m. and then go home and have dinner with their family. That kind of job is okay for most people, but my job is special and I love it. I'm a commercial airline pilot. That means I don't drive to work, I fly. In fact, I fly to many different destinations in the world, and I have friends in many countries. Usually, I fly between countries in Asia, North America, and South America. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's continue. North America and South America. It's not surprising then, that my best friend lives in Japan, and we stay in touch by Facebook and email. When I'm in Tokyo, he always invites me to have dinner with him and his family. In fact, my favorite food is sushi. Another good friend of mine, Gustavo, lives in Brasilia. That's the capital city of Brazil. Gustavo and I love to watch football games together when I visit. Is my job perfect? No, it's not. Because I fly across many different time zones, I sometimes go to bed at 2 a.m. At other times, I go to bed at 2 o'clock p.m. That kind of schedule isn't easy. In addition, my job often separates me from my wife and two children. They live in New York, and often I am many thousands of miles away. Sometimes I miss them very much. However, I think I have an exciting job. And my kids think it's great that I can say, hello, in 18 different languages. Ni hao. Anyang haseyo. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Okay. Now you did three things at the same time. Reading, listening, and understanding. ¿Ya ven? Llevé a su cerebro a tres actividades distintas. Listening, reading, and understanding. And also repeating. Okay? So that's the way we do it, right? That's the way it is. And it is a little bit complicated, you might say. Yes, it is a, a bit complicated, but it's not impossible. <laughs> Your brain hurts. Hasta le dolió el cerebro. <laughs> Poor Diego is like, ay, ay. <laughs> no. no, ahorita ya, se, ya crecieron cinco nuevas. I am going to call the attendance and we're going to go with the next topic. Le puede pasar lista y vamos a pasar al siguiente tema. Yo me va a Neuronas, perdón. Ahorita van, ya nacieron otras 20 nuevas. Cristian Eduardo Rodríguez. 
present. Thank, Thank you. Denis Gerardo. I am here. Diego Jose. Presente. Edwin Ernesto. Presente. Thank you. Edwin Mauricio. Edwincito. Jonis. Hey, I miss Jonis. Jorge Antonio. Presente. Karen Lisset. Karen Lisset Blanco. Where are you? Presente. Thank you. Carla Patricia. Presente. Catherine Rosibel. Presente. Luis Humberto. Presente. Norma Yamilet. Normita. <laughs> Your microphone. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Ronald Ulises. Hey, perdí a Rona. Víctor Manuel. Presente. Present. Present. Thank you. Walter Enrique. Presente. Present. Thank you, Rona. Creo que le está jugando chueco el Zoom. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Yanira Isabel. Presente. Thank you very much. Okay, I am just missing Mr. Mauricio Comayagua and uh, Mr. Jones. He is not connecting. Yo oh. que no va a yeah, I know. I, ah, todos Yeah, he's, he's a very nice guy. It's a very nice person. Well, let's continue then. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Okay, I am going to go to the manual right now. So what we were doing on the previous class, right? We were doing the calendar, the different days, the different dates. And are you free on, that was the question of Friday, right? Are you free on Saturday? Are you free on Sunday? Are you free on Monday, right? Different activities. We were also practicing the days of the week. And we were also practicing the months of the year, right? So just a quick, a quick practice. How do you say Agosto in English? August. 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 Very good. August. Very good. How August. do you say Mayo? May. May. Right. How do you say September? September. How do you say Enero? January. 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 How do you say Julio? July. 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 How do you say November? November. 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 How do you say Abril? April. 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 How do you say Febrero? February. 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 How do you say miércoles? Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. How do you say viernes? Uh, Friday. 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 How do you say jueves? Thursday. 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 How do you say martes? Tuesday. 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 How do you say sábado? Saturday. Saturday. No, you say Saturday. 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 Very good. Very good. And here we go. We are going to go and practice a little bit of uh, the beginning of unit number three. Chun, chun, chun. It's about the ING forms. Okay. And it says Peter. And Henry, right? Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it, okay? In this case, as you can see here, we have a special verbs using 
the ing form here, right? Here we have different verbs using the ing form. It is representing, attending, attending, presenting, informing, right? Here you have the different forms of ing. And in this case is the continuous action, what is happening at the moment, right? Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? ¿Quién va a estar representando? Right, ando, endo. And it says like, but Julie is attending. Julie también va a estar atendiendo la conferencia. And it says, if Julie is attending, ando, endo, right, atendiendo, the conference, who is delivering? Delivering, it's presentando or explicando, right? I am presenting, right? With Hector, the new accounting. So I am informing the committee about it. So the ando endo is the ING form. That's the, the form for us in Spanish. When they say, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Estoy comiendo, estoy jugando, estoy bailando. Okay? El otro mes, ¿qué vas a estar haciendo? Ah, voy a estar terminando algo. So that is the form of ING. And in this case, we're going to practice the conversation. Okay. And yeah, exactly like that, right? And and it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. Hmm. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next, next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about new words or new vocabulary for you. Palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo. Teacher, what's the meaning of? Huh? No new words. Accountant. The accountant. Deliver. Okay. Deliver. Delivering is presentando, right? Delivering the conference. For example, ahorita I am delivering the class. Yo les estoy dando la clase. Estoy presentando la clase. Accountant. Uh -huh. yes. Guess what? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Okay. Imagínense que les compré un regalo. And I say, guess what? And you say, like, ah, yeah. adivina. Yeah. Like, guess what? And I say, like, I have a present for you. <gasps> really? Ta da! A Exam. <laughs> Questions. <laughs> guess what? You say, adivina. Como que es. No, no, no. Guess no. what? It means adivina. Adivina. That's adivina. a meaning. Eso significa adivina. And you say like, guess what? I am, right? Adivina quién? Adivina qué. Because it says, if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation? So it's like, si, si Julia va a ir a dar las presentaciones, ¿Quién va a dar las presentaciones para el CEO la semana que viene? Entonces vengo y yo le digo, adivina, adivina quién. I am. I am. <laughs> right? Yo. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant, right? There you go. So, es como, como don, en mi trabajo, ¿verdad? le digo yo, eh, te voy a presentar las, a la secretaria, le digo. Y le digo yo, adivina quién es la secretaria. It's like, me. <laughs> I am the secretary. So you say, guess what? I am, right? It's like, for example, imagine if you go to Metro Centro and you see the person that you like. And you say like, oh, and you see you're crushing Metro Centro. Venga su crush allá en Metro Centro. Y llegan y le van a contar a su mejor amigo. Le dices, guess what? Guess what? Guess who I saw in Metro Centro? Adivina quién vi en Metro. And so like, I know. 
no, te creo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. And you know exactly who the person is, right? Is what? That's the meaning, adivina. And when you say, mm, I see, it's like, uh, el, ajá, uh -huh, de nosotros, ajá. Uh -huh. I see means, uh, ya veo, ajá, uh -huh, entiendo. But it's doubting, right? It's like, ajá, uh -huh, I see. Sí, te creo, ajá. Uh -huh. But, aquí dudamos y decimos, ah, uh, sí, ajá, uh -huh, cómo no. Pero si Julia va a ir a atender la conferencia, ¿quién va a dar las presentaciones? It's like, explain, because I don't know, right? I need to know. And in this case, when you say like, I have a question. I have a question is to grab someone's attention, right? It's like, para llamar la atención de alguien, it's like, bueno, mira, te tengo una pregunta. And it's like, mm -hmm. tell me. What happens when someone tells you like that? ¿Qué pasa cuando alguien le dice su trabajo? Luis, te tengo una pregunta. And then you are like, uh huh. <laughs> you don't know if it's good or bad, and you are like, <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, uh -huh. <laughs> And then you say like, ¿Qué hice? <laughs> ¿Qué hice ahora? <laughs> ¿Qué hice ahora? They say, I have a question. No, no, no. But ese no es nivel. El nivel es cuando te dicen, I need to talk to you. Uy. I know. It's like, I know. Cuando lo dice nuestra mamá. So they say like, yeah, no, if your mother says that, oh my God, no, si su mamá le dice, tengo que hablar con vos, uy, no, no, mejor agarre su esposa y se van. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? The yearly conference because it happens every year, every year, right? La conferencia anual. Maria is, Maria va, but Julie is attending the conference too, okay? Ella va, pero también va Julia. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations? Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant, el nuevo contador. Sounds great, it's like, yeah? Me parece genial. Suena super bien. Sounds great. And it says, so I am informing the committee about it. Entonces, en ese momento le informo al comité. Okay, I need you to choose one person from the audience. Escojan su pareja de la audiencia. Isabel, choose a person from the audience. Um, Edwin Gallegos. Okay, Isabel and Edwin Gallegos. Wendy, choose a person. Mm. Walter. Okay, Walter. Jorge, choose a person. Diego. Diego, okay. Christian, choose a person. Dennis. Dennis, very good. Luis Parrilla, choose a person. Roman. I don't know. Catherine, choose a person. Catherine. <laughs> Victor, okay. Norma, choose a person. Normita. A Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. And, quiero ver, ¿quién me queda sin pareja? Jorge. Walter, ¿ya tienes pareja? Sí, vea. Yes. Okay. A Diego, Jorge. elegí teacher. A Diego, ok, good. Karencita. Karencita. You will be adopted by, uh, let me see. Hola, Karencita. Hola. Okay, you will be working with Ronald and Luis, okay? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Adopt her. So you are going to be working. Okay, a screenshot the conversation, please. A screenshot the conversation and we are going to practice. Okay, le voy a dar 
7 minutos para que practiquen. And I am going to make the groups, okay, with people here. Let me see. I am going to make the rooms for you. And here we go. Okay. I am going to go here. Dennis and Dennis, who is your couple? Uh -huh. Can you add her? <laughs> Dennis and hey, can you add the pair Dennis? Yo, Christian. Christian, Dennis and Christian, you are group number one. Then let's go here. I am going to make the second group, Edwin and Isabel, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, the next one. Let's go with Luis, Ronald, and Karen. Karen, Luis, and Ronald. ¿Sí? Okay, good. And let's go. Con Ronald. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Walter and Wendy. Wendy. Walter and Wendy. And then we go with Diego and Jorge, right? Yes. Then we go with Carla Patricia and Norma. And then I go with Catherine and Victor. Yes? Very good. So, let's go. Go with your groups. El diálogo. Diálogo. Okay, Johnny and Edwin. Danny, did you receive the invitation to go to the group? Danny and Isabel, do you want invitation? I pass. Hola, Yanni. Okay, I will give them a couple of minutes for them to set up and practice. And then I will bring them back for them to share. We will see.
principle to the different groups. At what? Yeah, I am presenting with Hector the new account. Sounds great. So I am inform informing the committee about it. About it. About Hello, it. teacher. I have my microphone up. Hello. Okay. Guess Me what? Escuchar cómo no, cómo no lo, cómo lo hacemos. Please go ahead. Vamos. I will share my screen with you. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, good. Representing, you say representing. 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 At attending. 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 Presentations. 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 Right? Accountant. Accountant. Right. Do you remember important? ¿Te acuerdan de la pronunciación de important? Important. 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 Accountant. Right. Accountant. Important. Accountant. So I am Accountant. informing, right, the committee about it. Committee. Representing. I am representing, right? Who is representing? I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference, right? Attending the conference. Delivering the presentations, the presenting with Hector, the new accounting accountant. Sorry, sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Let's do it again. Hagámoslo de nuevo. Vamos a ver ya con los cambios. <laughs> Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company? Representing. In the... Representing. As it Represent. <laughs> Represent, representing. 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 Re -pre representing. Representing. There you go. Okay, but vamos a empezar. Aquí no pasa nada. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but, it, but Julie is attending. The conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who, who is deliver who is delivering the presentation? The, the presentations, presentation? presentations. Presentation. Presentation. No, presentations, presentations. Presentation. Don't say that Chong, presentation, Chong, no, say presentation. Okay. Champion, champ. No, say champion. Say champion. Champion. Presentations. Okay, who is representing the presentations, right? Presentations. Okay, no ha pasado nada, Cristian. Vamos a ver. I see. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the rep the present representation? <laughs> Presentations. Okay, okay, let's go. Vamos, tú lo tienes. Presentations. For the CEO next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting. 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 Presentations. Presenting. Okay, de nuevo. Guess what? Guess what? I am. I am presenting. Presenting, <laughs> presenting. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. 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 
Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Very about good. It. Very good job. Very good job. So no, pulamos presenting and presentations. Okay. Good. Very good. Continue practicing. I am going to go and see your friends. Voy a ver a sus otros chicos cómo están haciendo. Okay. Good. 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 Gracias. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Karen. Aha. <laughs> Here, how do you pronounce committee? Committee, committee. 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 The committee, uh huh. The committee about it. The committee about it. Good. The committee. The committee about it. The chair. How do you pronounce it? Hmm? The water. Yeah, I listen to the rain. Because it's very red. The sky is red. Yeah. I am going to see what they need. Yeah. No. No, okay. No, 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 okay. Al es que alguien me está pidiendo ayuda, pero ¿qué necesita? Uh, how do you pronounce CEO? CEO. 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 Que yo, que espero que la ayude que no da recarga, porque sí, que está duro. Es granizo, no hay lluvia. Wow, oh my God. Uy, holy power. Ok, I will come back in a second, ya vuelvo. Hello. Yes. Tenemos una duda. Yeah. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? María es solo María. María, María. María. María, María de todos los ángeles. María. Yes, yeah, Mary. <laughs> Mary, no, María. If you have, because Mary, Mary, it, it's okay, but if you have it like this, dijéramos Mary, pero si estuviera escrito así. Ajá. Sí, con, con, con Mary, right? But, but like, like what we have it here, así como lo tenemos aquí, es María. María, María, María. María. Y donde dice, I see, but if Julie. I see, coma. But if uh -huh. Julie is attending, if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week, right? I see, ajá, uh -huh. it's like, ajá, uh -huh, ya veo. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Huh? Julie. Okay. Okay, go ahead. A ver, díganme, vamos a ver cómo estamos. Vamos a ver qué correcciones okay. hago a usted. Voy a borrar las de los otros. Estas eran del otro grupo. Okay. okay. Good. Hello, Wendy. I I had a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Walter. Well, M M Maria is but Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation for CEO next week? Yes, Wax, I am. I am presenting with Hector the new accounting. Sound great. So I am informing the comedy about if. Okay, good. It says, I have a question. I have a question. Have. Okay. Recuerden que el sonido de la V es eh, sus labios atrás de los dientes. Say, so have. I have a question. Right. I have a question. Who is representing? Representing. Esta palabra la tienen tres, tres veces aquí. Mira, la tienen como representing, presentations, and presenting. So you have to know the pronunciation. Representing, presentations, presenting. Okay? Yeah, representing. Representing, presentations, presenting. Okay? Representing, presentations, presenting. It says... Mary 
Okay, but if Julie, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, aquí como que tú querías seguir dando tu idea, pero él te dice, ah, I see. Y aquí te corta, vea. Okay, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, and the person says, ah, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO, CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Accountant. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee, committee about. Okay. Practice again. Vamos a ver ahora con las correcciones. ¿Cómo nos va? Vamos. Hello, Wendy. I had a question. I have, have, have. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Walter. Will. Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see. But is Julie is attending, who is delivering? The representation. The presentation. The, the presentations. Aquí the dice present presentations, no representations. The presentations. The presentation for the CEO next week. Yes, what I am. I am pre presenting with presenting, Hector. Presenting. Presenting with Hector. The new account accountant. Accounting. Accountant. Accounting. Accountant. Accountant. <laughs> ¿Se acuerdan, ¿se acuerdan de la pronunciación de important? Important. Y cuando le dije cómo se pronunciaba importante, important. And say accountant. It's the same, right? Important accountant, right? Accountant. Accountant. And committee. Okay. Continue practicing and I will come back. Ya bueno. Okay. Ya en un momentito. Momentito, momentito. Let me see. I was here. I need to go with. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Estamos listas. Hello. Okay. Hello. Action. Hello, Carla. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Norma. Well, Maria is good. Good. Julie is attending the conference this year to Sue. I see, but is Julie is attending. Who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? What's what I am? I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So quick. So I am informing the committee about it. Good, 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 good. So you say. Uh, who is representing? Who is representing the company? Representing. The other one. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. Okay. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, yeah, lo interrumpe el otro y dice, I see, but Julie, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations? Okay, la primera que tienen es representing. La segunda palabra similar is presentations. And the last one says like, guess what? No, you say, guess what? Guess what? I am. I am representing with Hector, the new accountant. Right, the new accountant. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, so I am informing the committee about it. 
Vamos a hacerlo de nuevo, ya con las correcciones. Hello, Carla. I have a question. Who is repre representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Pete. Hey, Norma. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too soon. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? What's what? I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So week. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Guess what? Guess what? Sounds great. What sound? No, you say guess what? You say guess. Guess what? what? And sounds great. Right. Sounds great. Perfect. perfect, perfect, perfect. I am going to practice one more time. Practíquenlo una vez más y voy a ir a la última sala. Okay? I will go to the last room. Let me see. I went here. I went here. And I think I went to all of them. Okay. So, let's go back. Okay, they are coming here in 25 seconds. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. El tiempo pasa volando cuando nos toca practicar. Esto no es justo. Why? <risa> oh. Hasta la lluvia se vino. Yeah, imagine. Es señal de protesta. Ay, <risa> no. ¿cómo? Señales divinas. <risa> yeah. Le voy a dar un top certificate. Le voy a dar un extra certificado después del certificado de dos módulos. Dos. The most I need more time group that I have had. Ah, y le faltaba algo, Batito. No, María y su madre. No, 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 no. That was explain I was explaining that to the last group. No, no, no. Eso se los estaba explicando al último grupo. Ah, y a nosotros a no. A nosotros no llegó. No, wait, ah, wait. Preferencia. Estoy muy mal. Estoy muy mal. Estoy I was out. explaining, I was explaining that <laughs> you say Mary when Mary is like this. Cuando está escrito así, se pronuncia Mary. Y cuando está así, es María. Ah, oh, okay. María. Y Mary. cuando está en El Salvador, es Marilla. Mar Ay, Marilla. Marilla. <laughs> This is in English, this is in the United States, and in El Salvador, Marilla. Ay, Marilla, they say. That's how, what my mother says. Así me dice mi mamá cuando, le, cuando cree que le estoy mintiendo. Ay, Marilla, they say. And it's like, what? Me? No, me decía, yo soy un angelito, el señor. <laughs> no, don't, don't believe that. It's not true. Okay. You are Henry. I am Peter. Hello, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Everybody. Hey, Peter. Hey, well, 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 Maria is attending the conference. 
I see. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Yes, yes, I Accountant. Remember, important, important, accountant. Accountant. Sounds great. Accountant. Yes, sounds great. I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Now you are Petey, you are Peter, and I'm Henry, okay? One, two, and three. Hello, Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year, too, so... I see. I see. But it's you. 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 But you have three words you have three words that are similar in this uh, conversation let me just okay do this okay we have three words that are similar representing presentations and presenting we have three words that are similar but we need to be very careful with the pronunciation right who is representing the company who is delivering the presentations and I am presenting with the with Hector, the new accountant. Accountant. Guess what? Sounds great, right? These are expressions of um, what? When you agree or when you are admired by something, right? You say, you don't say, guess what? Yeah. Porque se no llega dando la buena nueva del siglo, así como adivina. No, llega, pues llegas y le dices, adivina, adivina qué pasó, adivina, adivina. Because you are very excited about it, right? You say, guess what? What? The other person is going to say. It's not like, guess what? Guess what? Tal vez si lo regañaron y le pusieron una acción de personal. Ahí sí llega y le dice, guess what? I got it. I'm fired. In that case, yes. But in this one, you are excited. If you say, sounds great. Imagine si yo le digo, ah, sounds great. Mire, fíjese que se va a quedar cinco horas más trabajando. Sounds great. Fantastic. <laughs> so guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Me quedo otras cinco son, son horas. Son expresivos. Son Adivina poco qué, expresivos. me voy ya. Ay, 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 ay. But in Spanish, in Spanish, si usted vio ahí a la muchacha que tiene esposo y la vio con novio. Si hubiera visto, teacher. Guess what? You say like, who? Teacher, no. She was outside. She was outside with someone. So like, Maybe it's el abuelo y todo eso. Masa para pan. Sugar Dairy. Ya, así se hace en los chambres. Ah, sounds great, but it's not like that. Creo que con un año y medio, teacher, en chambres en inglés van a ser ahí en las líneas. I know. Para que no entiendan. I, I hope, I hope, and, it's, and it is so fantastic. I, I just love when that happens, right? One day, one day I was I was in a coaster, right? I was coming home by bus because there was a lot of traffic. And I was coming home by bus. And there were two people from the call center, right? And they were like, blah, 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 in English, right? They were having this big chambre there in English. And I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> but they were enjoying and many people around they were like 
a ver qué vendrán diciendo estos bichos. And I was so silent in the middle because I was like here in the middle. Uno venía sentado aquí al lado mío, el otro así de pie. Y in the middle of the chamber, right? Like enjoying. <laughs> So it's, it's really beautiful, right? Pero me quemé cuando me reí en una parte. So cuando dijeron algo, yo, and, and they were like, she's, she's understanding. And I said like, no worries, no worries. I said, your secrets are safe with me. I said, sus secretos están a salvo conmigo. And they were totally red, like, oh my God. She was just, she was understanding. And I was like, ha. Ah. Es otro nivel, otro nivel de, de placer de la vida. Understand the jokes in English. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. When you can help someone in English, that's fantastic, right? It's very beautiful. Cuando ustedes puedan ayudar a alguien en inglés y digan, ah, I did it. That was fantastic. It feels beautiful. It feels really great. So this, uh, uh, in this one, in this conversation, we are talking about ING forms, estamos hablando de la forma de ING para planes a futuro, right? Because it says who is attending the conference, who is going, who is traveling, right? These are things that are going to be happening, but in the future, right? Are things that are going to take place in the near future. And this is what we are going to be doing. So like he is presenting, right? He is presenting with the new employee. I am informing, right? I am informing. Here you have the verb to be and the ing form, right? And the, uh, the verb to be has to be in accordance with the subject. Siempre que ocupamos las formas continuas, ya sea para presente o futuro, ocupamos el verbo to be que va de acuerdo al sujeto. So you say, you cannot say he are presenting, porque he, he siempre va seguido de is. ¿Y por qué lo vamos a ocupar aquí? Porque dice, él está presentando. Yo estoy informando. Yo voy a informar. Right? She is presenting. And in this one, Julie is attending. Ella va a ir. Right? You need the verb to be in this case, right? Ella va a atender la conferencia. I am presenting. Yo voy a estar presentando con Héctor. Yo le voy a informar al comité. So that's why you need the verb to be according to the subject, right? I am, Julie is, right? And Julie is attending the conference. And here on the manual, you have two listenings. En el manual tienen dos listenings que pueden utilizar in, in order to practice this topic a little bit more. But here we have present continuous for future events, right? Present continuous for future events. Para la clase de mañana, creo que tengo alguien pintándome el manual. <laughs> Isabel and Diego me andan pintando el manual. Sorry. It's okay. Es que me salen sus nombres. Yo pensaba que era incógnito. No, I have your names. Ahí puedo ver quién anda las crayolas prohibidas. Sorry. It's, uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, in this one, we have the subject plus the verb to be, the main verb in the gerund form, and the complement, right? The subject, the verb to be, the main verb in the gerund form, and in the complement. You say, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the near future. ¿Cuándo va a pasar esta acción? In the future, tomorrow. In the future, tomorrow, tomorrow. right? It's going to happen tomorrow. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. ¿A qué hora va a pasar esto? 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Entonces, a las 5, ¿qué va a estar haciendo Maria? Interview. Interviewing people, right? I am writing the report next week. What am I going to be doing next week? Writing. writing the report, right? And I am sending it as soon as you have it, right? As soon as you finish. ¿Cuándo lo voy a estar enviando yo? As soon as you finish, right? As soon as you finish. If I ask you, for example, what are you going to be doing tomorrow at 8 a.m.? 
What are you going to be doing? ¿Qué van a estar haciendo ustedes mañana a las 8 de la mañana? With my lunch. At 8 a.m. Eating my breakfast. I am working. I am working, right? So you say, I am. I am, breath, am breath. Okay, I am having breakfast. I am eating. I am eating my breakfast. I am working. You say. I am working, yo ya estoy trabajando. Right? I am working at that time. I am having breakfast, right? I am, a, I am starting my work. I am starting my work at that time in the morning. So those are future events. What are you going to be doing tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Study of I, I will be studying English, right? I will be studying English. Where are you going to be connected tomorrow at 7 a.m.? ¿Dónde van a estar conectados tomorrow at 7 a.m.? Um, in class. In class, right? I am yeah. connected in class. I am connected in class. Using what platform? ¿Qué plataforma van a estar usando? Zoom. Using Zoom, right? I will be using Zoom. I will be using Zoom. So for tomorrow, I invite you, if you have time, to investigate a little bit about present continuous for future events, okay? Este va a ser el tema de grammar que pueden investigar un poquito antes de venir. Igual se lo voy a enviar yo en la práctica de todos los días. And here you have. Thank you for all the ones who sent the practice today. Gracias a todos los que me enviaron la práctica. Estaba bien sencillita. It was very simple. But it is meaningful, okay? So, the grammar topic for tomorrow, present continuous for future events, okay? That's what we're going to be working. And for sure, here you have a couple of practices, okay? Tenemos unas cuantas prácticas que las pueden ir avanzando. And here you have one example, here. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow, right? Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Si lo primero que ponemos es el sujeto, ¿cuál sería el primero de la siguiente oración? Mark. 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 the letters. Next week. next week, okay? Who is the subject for number three? Tonight. So that's what, what you are going to be doing for the next class, okay? That's what you are going to do for tomorrow. Please, my dear students, complete these exercises and investigate a little bit. Investigate un poquito más de este tema. Here you have the topic. And I will be more than glad to see you tomorrow. Okay? Have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you tomorrow for see another. Tomorrow, see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.